This is a big man's game here. Yeah, no. This is a little man's game. That's what you play. I'm drinking Zoa by Dwayne Johnson. This loading screen was always funny to me. That ball was really little and that guy's hands are really big. NFL Street, my first and favorite football game ever. A masterpiece created by the late, great EA Sports Big. Makers of the SSX series, so you know you're in for something special. High-octane arcade gameplay wrapped in unlimited style move combinations. Loud car wreck sound effects. Immersive in-game trash talk. I hope you burn some sunblock, because you're about to get burned. Oh! Dynamic, high-resolution fans. Look at this guy. He's, this guy's real. And cutscene celebrations that'll make your head spin. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, touchdown, baby. The soundtrack's great in this game too. A lot of solid jams that make you feel tough. My favorite actually being This Man by Jack Frost. Coincidentally mentioning Jack Frost in back-to-back -back videos, this is actually my favorite song, I'm not lying to you. That's just business, baby. The rosters of this era were pretty interesting. No real quarterback was good. A lot of Hall of Famers were basically walking the plank of their careers, matey. These are the stats of a running back who holds almost every rushing record, or at least did at one point. It's Emmitt Smith in the Cardinals. He kind of sucks. This wide receiver who can only catch, apparently, Jerry Rice. Unbelievable. Or it's the start of Hall of Fame careers like Drew Brees being on the Chargers, Tom Brady not being that good, and then Mike Vick being the cheat code that he was. Same with Randy Moss, you just can't leave that out. <sighs> The gameplay is simple and easy. They didn't add wall running yet, so you only need to know how to do a few key moves. Lightning fast, neck breaking jukes and spins. See that? Hurtling dives that you wouldn't believe with your own eyes. This is a cannonball, and the rest is kind of self-explanatory for a football game. Style moves are basically this game's biggest selling point, as you can see by this god-tier intro video that I might have to put up there with NBA 2K12's masterpiece of an intro. And these said style moves give you extra style points, ultimately leading you to the infamous Game Breaker. Oh, yeah, yeah! A form of god mode where on offense you become virtually unstoppable with a small chance that you might fumble, but most of the time you're untouchable. On defense, the best way to use it, you make life incredibly hard for anyone with the ball. Automatic fumbles and even super jumps for interceptions. There is a small chance you can get lucky enough to score against one though. I happen to have done it right here. I'm getting angry. You're not gonna like me when I'm angry. Now that I've laid the foundation for this game, it's time to put on our hard hats, pick up our DeWalt power drills, and build what's really important to this game. The NFL Challenge. A beautiful mix of my career and ultimate team. And you can even play with a friend. Start by picking your style of team. And as a man obsessed with customization, I always start from scratch with a custom team. Starting with branding, we can't use this. So I went through the extensive list of logos until I settled on this pumpkin. And as an ode to one of my favorite seasonal beverages, we will be called the Pump Kings, Southern Tier. You start off with a blank team of default phase one. Default players one through seven, all standing at 5'5", five, five, 160 pounds. Which means you can pretty much do whatever you want, however you want. Very RPG style of football. So with 8,000 development points to work with, I built my dream team, comprised of only the elite. Starting at quarterback, a true legend of the backyard variety. They say he can do it all. Ernie Steele. Mm, I done it again. Picking apart defenses, like the school nurse looking for lice on the heads of young children. I have no voice right now. This is why this re-recorded line is going to sound so odd compared to everything else. Taking over at running back, a man with a GPA so low it would win a worldwide limbo competition. Me. Touchdown, baby! Yeah! Watch him juke out the opposition and truck through fields like a draft dodging farmer. At the wide receiver spot, a recurring theme that I can somehow fit into the story of my videos, Snowman. Uh, 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 too easy, baby! This little speedster cuts through the secondary like butter, getting open more than Walmart in select locations around the US. Not mine, it's closed at 11. Holding it down at offensive lineman, the bootleg liquor crime lord himself, Chicago's Big Tony. Ain't no one in the NFL better than me. Protecting his teammates like they're the Sunrise Club in Mission 2 of Tom Splitters 2. Laying siege at D lineman, the Queen of Crush, AKA The Flash, Keisha Phillips. <laughs> Knocking down defenders and racking up sacks like Santa if he had to carry more than just one sack. Patrolling at linebacker, a fearsome gang leader left wheelchair bound after suffering a stroke, Don Hector Salamanca. Did you hear? Wrecking havoc all over. Like the bag of cabbage I ate last night, I have irregularities in the bowel movements. And last but not least, at defensive back, when he's not going super uber in the back country, he's lurking in the secondary. Moby Jones. Bobby Wee, baby, Bobby Wee. Breaking up deep passes and intercepting more balls than the Grinch on Christmas Eve. <laughs> 
<laughs> Some fun channel lore for you. I put a dragon tattoo on my right forearm because I myself have a dragon warrior on my right forearm. Can you believe that? Now the rest of the NFL challenge is just a fun rinse and repeat process. Do challenges such as make a goal line stand against the Rams for a nice stack of development points. Harder ones later on, like shutting out the lines in a game to 24 for a wristband with plus three passing. And after failing it for hours, my final attempt was an absolute nail biter. I was up 21 nothing and had my game breaker ready for one final stop. Just as I expected, I caused a fumble and Big Tony scooped it up. With eyes locked on the end zone, they made me fumble and they got it back. Was all that for nothing, I asked myself, as they moved the ball down into scary territory. And just as my dreams were about to be crushed once more, so I made one final leap and knocked the ball out of the back of the end zone for a touchback, ultimately leading me to glory. This wristband made it all worth it. Sometimes it feels like the game hates you and wants you to fail. For example, in this challenge, I played the perfect defense and knocked the ball back into the end zone just for them to pick it up and break every tackle and score. This happened twice, by the way. Here's a little screen of it happening, and now I'm gonna zoom into the little screen, and it's gonna be a big screen, and now they're gonna score again. Touchdown. How do you like that? You go on to beat the teams in each division to unlock more fields and even more challenges to improve your team. The fields do get harder as you go on. You can throw it off the ceiling at the warehouse or even get tripped up by fresh watermelon down at the market. You eventually face off against the NFL Legends team, a roster of the most prestigious players of the past. Woohoo! It's time to get down. When you beat them, you basically beat the game, allowing you to now play the all NFL pickup, which opens up a style of play that I find very entertaining. Only choosing offensive linemen, you can craft a team with no skill. That's my man, big fat dude, yeah. Just very slow movement, a lot of falling over, bad passing, no catching, and a lot of fumbles. It's kind of ridiculous, but it, it's funny, so. Mm, 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 mm. I've done it again. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. And hey, if you're not subscribed yet, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Also notify as well. It, it kind of it's kind of nice make sure to drop a like on the video also leave a comment down below tell me what you think i will respond anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been an nfl street extravaganza and that's about it for me i'm gonna try to chase down a player in the open field oh no you don't you little scoundrel oh.